You know what they say? That which does not kill us makes us stronger. Hey y'all, so we're gonna be making lasagna. I know that I promised a lasagna video quite a while ago and I never delivered on that, but we'll be making it today and it's a perfect time to be making lasagna because you're probably in a self-quarantine for a couple weeks. Hope everybody is stocked up on everything. Maybe you've been canning and maybe you've made some jam, you know, from my channel or some pickles. Uh, I want to do more canning recipes. I've been canning chicken, um, chicken soup and um, tomato sauce. Been canning a lot of things lately. So hope you have enough toilet paper and food to get you through the self quarantine, but it is an actual official pandemic now and uh, Trump made that statement yesterday. Everybody's being advised to stay inside. So let's make the best of it and make some lasagna. So our ingredients for making the noodles, yes, we will be making our own noodles, is two cups of flour and three eggs. And then we have some salt. We're gonna dump out the flour here. We're gonna make what they call a well with our flour. Now, I will warn y'all, this is not an Italian recipe. This is Martha Stewart. Um, I got this recipe from Martha Stewart. I'm not Italian myself, so I don't have a Nana that is pass, passed down an Italian recipe, like a, like a legit Italian recipe. But if you have one, if you're Italian and you have a Nana and your Nana makes the best lasagna you've ever tasted, I need that recipe, please drop it in the comments below. If you have any advice on how to cook Italian, please let me know. Drop those tips and hints in the comments below because I am not Italian, I am Irish. I'm very proud of my Irish heritage, but I always kind of wanted to be Italian. <laughs> uh, I love Italian food. I love French food too, so I'm a tiny bit French. Not Italian as far as I know. So we're gonna dump our three beaded eggs into the center of our well. Do, 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 do. Okay. And what we're going to do is use this fork to mix, oh, let's add a bit of salt. Salt. Okay, there we go. We're gonna mix the flour in with the egg yolks and we're going to kind of mix it up in the well. So, I actually, I did not learn this from an Italian granny or anything like that. That would be awesome. But I'm doing it the way that I saw Ann Burrell do it on Worst Cooks of America. That I loved that show. I think it was one of the seasons with Bobby Flay and she always kicks his butt. She, she is great. So if you've ever seen Worst Cooks of America, that is a really great show. I like it a lot. Um, the things that some people do with cooking. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so just get some flour in here and we're gonna mix that. You see how it's, how it's going? There we go. Now you don't wanna, you wanna be careful not to break your well because that would suck, getting egg yolk all over the kitchen counter. I'm actually not using a kitchen counter, I'm using my table. In a minute, we're gonna switch to using our hands, which I think is easier. probably take my ring off so I didn't get flour all in my ring. Okay, it's a little bit tougher, so we're gonna stand up and use some of the leverage and weight here. Now we're gonna put this in the fridge. 
fridge for about 45 minutes before we roll it out. Okay, so our pasta dough, is that what you call it? It's chilled. We're gonna lightly flour the surface, very lightly, just so it doesn't stick. But you don't want it to get too dry, so pretty lightly. And yes, as you might have already guessed by now, I do not own a pasta maker. So we are rolling this out the hard way. dishes that I have are with somebody else right now so I'm going to be using a pie pan to bake the lasagna so I'm gonna get hopefully I can squeeze out three layers of this but we'll see Okay, so I have rolled out all of this lasagna noodle and I've cut it into little circles. Now this is just the shape that I'm using because I'm using a pie pan because my casserole dishes are gone right now. So I'm just gonna put the lasagna noodles on a greased pan. I just sprayed this with some cooking oil and I'm going to layer it. Now, as I said, I'm not Italian. If your nonna does it better than me, let me know because I would really love a great lasagna recipe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer. First, I'm gonna start with this pasta sauce. Now I made this myself and I have canned pasta sauce, but um, okay. So basically everything that I've told you, unless I told you the measurements at the beginning with the noodles, it's not gonna be an exact recipe. I'm gonna get some pasta sauce and we're going to spread it on the bottom noodle. Now I got some diced tomatoes and I put this in a large pot and I cooked it for quite a while with some Italian seasonings and some garlic and salt and pepper and I sauteed the garlic in a, a pan with butter and oil. Then I just put it in the pot along with these diced tomatoes and the Italian seasonings and just cooked that down. And you can can pasta sauce. It is wonderful to have some pasta sauce in your pantry that you made yourself. So we're gonna get our next noodle this is gonna be our second layer. So I need new spatulas because <laughs> this is a Thanksgiving spatula, but I also have a Christmas one, but I do not have actual just regular non-holiday spatulas. So I need to get those. This is ricotta cheese and we're just going to spread the ricotta cheese on top of the noodle. We're gonna get some ground beef and we're going to put that on top of the ricotta. Now I just seasoned these with some Italian seasoning and salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic. And then I sauteed it in a cast iron pan. Next noodle. Here's some of our pasta sauce, next layer. There you go. I am going to separate these into individual servings and put them in little meal prep uh, containers. 
for my husband's lunches at work. Okay, let's go one more with the ricotta. So I changed my mind. Since we don't have another layer, we're gonna put the ricotta after this one. And I want the marinara on top. So we're going to put the ricotta on top of the marinara. Julia Child style, y'all. We're rolling with it, okay? We have changed our mind. We're doing something different. But we are rolling with it. We're not apologizing. Because it's going to be yum. We're adding the ground beef. It would be great if I had one more layer of these noodles. If I had a pasta maker, I could probably crank them out really thin so that we could have one more layer. But this is fine. It's fine. Now we're gonna have our top layer of marinara or pasta sauce. I feel like marinara is too official for what I did with it. I want to start watching some Italian YouTube. I just got turned on to a channel called Pasta Grannies by a friend. So I'm going to start watching that. If anybody knows of Italian YouTube where they make Italian food better than I can, let me know in the comments. So slices of mozzarella. I'm going to just add them on top. The so Parmesan. Sprinkle the Parmesan. Okay, now we're going to bake this in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. So 15 minutes in, we're going to put a basil on top and let that cook a little bit more. Okay, our lasagna is done, folks. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Part of the beaver for being neat. Beaver got the idea. All kids want the approval. They even yeah. got uh, experts to I push children all the way. Maybe the beaver will outgrow being sloppy.